Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of walk video and I'll be walking in Huntsville, which is located in the famed cottage country in Maskuka district. Huntsville is the largest by population and land area in Maskuka. And this is a vibrant small town nested among many lakes and iconic Algonquin Provincial Park. So this is about uh, 134 miles or 215 kilometer north of Toronto. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more walk videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So this is kind of uh, Huntsville downtown and we're going to walk along this street and uh, I'm going to have actu actually find out what the, what's the name of the street. So I'll look for a road sign but looks like this is the downtown and I actually asked a few people so it doesn't stretch that far and you can see that some stores and restaurants Here and there, and then we have here a shopping complex. I can see uh, Metro, then Winners, and then we have Scotia Bank, the Brick, So I'm going to be in this here in this region for about three days and there's going to be lots of videos and this is actually part of the three-day cottage country trip challenge so there will be other videos under the same playlist so what I noticed that the stores are here you know a little bit different than what we usually see in Toronto because this, there's like in a lot, lots of camping sites and lake, and this is by the lake, so you can buy lots of gears and stuff, and you see lots of stores like that. So we are passing or crossing an intersection, and let's see what street is this. I see a Petro Canada here. So here we have a Tim Horton. And Petro Canada then Shoppers Drug Mart. So this is actually King William Street. And looks like this is the largest street. It's kind of the main street. We have another shopping complex here. So you can see that Little Scissors, Subway, and some other stores. Chalks Roadhouse.
I see a McDonald's coming up and we see another shopping plaza complex right on the right so it's about 720 temperature is around 20 22 degrees Celsius so it was a very nice day but it's getting a little bit cooler right now and I visited a place called I believe Lions Lookout but I have a video on that which I'll be posting later on and then I have more places to see tomorrow and then the after and after here I'm going to be spending one day in Aurelia so there will be videos from that place as well So you can see that not many people on the street although it's weekday but it feels empty but that's the way it is it's a small town so I had I just ate at this McDonald's and there's a lot of lineup And the guy you just saw running, I met the same guy before when I was here at the McDonald's. He was running, so it looks like he has been running for a while. And this is the McDonald's where I had my lunch, but it looks like they closed and they closed early. So here's the entrance to the McDonald's. Drive through looks like open. And if you see on the other side of the street, there are nice little stores. I kind of like a small town and this type of stores. So this is the corner of Cliff Street and King William Street and we have Rainbow Inn Motel. So what I noticed here that there are lots of motels but I don't see any hotel. So mainly it looks like it's a motel specific small town and I believe we have a nice lake on on our right side So here's the roadway in motel and this is the motel where I'm staying. So I have a kind of corner room on the second floor on the right. And it looks like the downtown doesn't stretch too far. I feel like it's going to end very soon. So definitely this is going not going to be a long walk video so Hyundai dealership right here and we have a KFC but looks like they're closing down too I don't see many people here
So here's another store, Mascoca. Looks like it sells car gears. So we have another motel, Huntsville Inn. So I'm just seeing some people on the street here and there, not really many people. But it's very nice to walk. Very relaxing walk. No hustle and bustle like a big city. Looks like there's another complex on the left. Have some stores here. I see an one wimpy. So this is something I don't see that many. I remember seeing one in Toronto. This is another one I'm seeing here and on the left we have a small shopping complex Some restaurants Community service So let's take a look at Wimpy's uh, I think they're open, but I don't see many people here Ferry Avenue, Shafi Street. So here is one street, and these stores look like closed. I see a pizza nova on the left coming up. Really quiet. Just saw a kid passing by. So it looks like I'm drawing people's attention because here I don't think anyone actually does walk video or any type of video probably aren't gonna see they don't see anyone doing video often so definitely I can feel people are looking at me but I kind I kind of enjoy that type of attention so we have a lawyer's office nails and a spa and looks like another shopping complex on the left. So there's a small bridge and I'm going to pass that.
and see how far we can go. So it looks like we have some stores right here. So there's a small nice restaurant and here's the view of the street so this is called the Huntsville Swing Bridge which is right here and we got some ni nice flowers So here, no swimming or jumping from bridge. And definitely it's a nice one. And there's a beautiful view actually right here. And I can see that, you know, restaurant by the water. But the, the sun is very, having lots of reflection, so it's gonna, So I see one dog is swimming in the water. So a view of the bridge from this side. And you can see that this is a beautiful view. And I'm going to show you more so I kind of standing under a shade so you can have a better look. It's beautiful here. Actually, I can get the smell of the water. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go a little bit and come back just to have a better view.
we have some more stores canoes So this is Town Dock, that's the name of the place. And let's take a little bit. So there you can see the bridge. So I'm just going to cut through here. I think I'm gonna be on the street again. But here is a glimpse of what you see. And let me take the street. So we're going to be back on the road again. Kind of reminds me of St. Catherine. But I guess every small town kind of looks like this way. We have more stores on the left and here could be a library actually this is a theater Algonquin theater and then we have a park here which is the river mill park Lots of small townish stores on both sides of the street. And the walk sign looks like it's different, very different, unique. I haven't seen this anywhere if I remember correctly. But I don't think I can really miss it because it has flushing lead. But even looks like this is the heart of downtown but I don't see too many people.
you see lots of Nascuco chairs everywhere. So there's a Tyson Center and lots of people eating out. I have a feeling we are kind of close to the end because the stores are getting thinner. I don't see many stores now, so probably we're kind of at the end of downtown. And I'm going to have, have to turn back at one point. So actually this is the main street east, so the Re street we were on before looks like converted to main street east and I don't see any intersection name of the street. And it's very quiet there. So I'm going to end this video here. So there will be more videos and for the next video I'm going to put a link right on the screen. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.